Hello everyone, we made it to Byron Bay and we are all so happy. The sun is out, we got here last night. It rained a little bit yesterday, but we're hoping that that was a one-time thing. Um, it says that it should rain a little bit later today, but we'll see about that. But the sun is out and it feels so good. And it's such a cute little area. We went to a little cafe called The Top Shop yesterday for dinner, or I guess it was kind of more for lunch. Um, and we saw two celebrities. We saw, I'm forgetting her name, Chris Hemsworth's wife, right? Elsa Pataki, I don't know. Elsa something. And Matt Damon. I was so starstruck seeing Matt Damon. I think he's like my mom's celebrity crush or like her favorite actor. Parker's like, what the heck? Matt Damon just walked in and we're like, oh yeah, right. And then we looked over and he was just chilling, like just a normal guy in some flip-flops and a hat and like he was just ordering his morning coffee or his afternoon coffee. So that was a really cool experience. We're off to a good start. And our Airbnb is so, so cute. I feel like everything here is cute, but we picked the cutest spot and I did a little house tour yesterday that I filmed before we like got our stuff everywhere because that's a mistake I always make. I always want to do like an Airbnb tour and then our stuff is everywhere. So um, then it looks all messy and so I did it before. I was thinking ahead. So here it is. Here is the front room. We gonna have a movie party tonight guys? Yeah. yeah. And then this is a little outdoor area that's really cute. And then off this room is the kitchen. And the wife's bedroom at the end of the hall. Here's the kitchen. Here's a washer and dryer. This little bunk room with a little TV. And then when you go to the left of the front door, you turn to the right and here is a cute bedroom. And it has access to the outside right there. Walk back down the hallway, and here's another bedroom. And then, here's the bathroom. We're headed right now to the Byron Bay Lighthouse, and it's really close to where we're staying. I'm pretty sure there, everything that we wanna go see is like really, really close within almost like a mile. So, we're gonna go to the lighthouse right now, and we'll take you with us. We made it. It's so cute, it's so pretty, and it's nice and warm. Sunny day, finally. It's bigger than this bag. Fight, caught on camera. They have these little lookout things and it is just ocean as far as you can see. That's the most eastern point, easterly point of Australia. Really? Yep. What do you mean that? Like the hill? Yeah, you walk to the edge of it. Mm. Head to that hill is the most easterly point. Easterly? I've never heard that word. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking to the easterly point. So I'm pretty sure those are coffee, uh, fruit, beans, or whatever. The little orange things? Yeah. Wow, really? Getting a lesson from Leif about coffee beans and coffee fruit. Leif's dad's, Leif's dad. has a um, coffee farm in Hawaii. Don't film the back of my hair. Why? Look at it. It's cute. Are you embarrassed? Actually, yeah, it's kind of shocking. We made it. Oh, oh yeah. It's a little walkway that you can go down to, too, which is so pretty over there. So Can't even hot. stand in the most easterly point of Australia. It's covered in mud. Cool, Australia. Make and do. So we've been to the most easterly point of Australia and the most southern point of the United States in Hawaii. Wow, we're so cultured. I actually don't remember that. Now oh, South, we need to go South to point. the most okay. northern point of northern point. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Vlog failure, goodbye. We just made it to the cutest cafe that a ton of you guys recommended to us. It's called Folk Cafe and it's all plant-based. You guys, this is unreal cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> I got these beautiful pancakes. They have banana on them and different fruit. And then I also got an avocado toast. 
I got this strawberry and rose water coconut milk smoothie and Leif got a turmeric something smoothie. I think it has banana in it. This looks amazing. And look how cute this setup is. This is where we're eating. Guys, I just made Aspen. Well, actually, she kind of offered to. But <laughs> nice of me. Yeah. Um, she doesn't like avocado toast, but she just tried it and she says she kind of likes it. Wait, how's your smoothie? I don't know yet. You haven't tried it? Leaf, it's gonna be melted. Words. Delicious. This smoothie is so good. We're on our way to the beach. This is casting some insane shadows on my face and also I feel the need to have my arms like this because my self tanner is making my armpits look nuts. But we're headed to the beach right now. I don't know the name of it actually, but if I find out, I'll put it right here. And me and Aspen are just gonna hang out and lay out while the boys probably swim. They got us, um, there was an umbrella at our Airbnb and they yes. got it for us and they're gonna set it up. What nice boys. We complain about how pale we are, but then we're like, we can't go to the beach without an umbrella. I know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Ever since I had an esthetician on my podcast, I'm like terrified of sun damage. Yeah. I'm, I'm not about to get anyways. skin cancer. So I'm like, might as well just cover up. Same. Oh, bye hat. Beach bag. <gasps> Coming to life. We just got down to the beach and now we are at the cutest cafe. I'll put the name right here. You guys, the cafes here are just too much. How cute. They have a ton of vegan desserts. They look amazing. So I ordered this beetroot brownie with avocado chocolate, or I think cacao frosting. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna have it before I even have my meal. Okay, I got the peanut butter acai bowl. I'm going all out with the sweets today. Aspen got the pancakes. It looks so yummy. It looks so good. Is this ice cream? I think so. Parker got a sandwich. Yep. And Animal. Leif got a veggie oh, bowl. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Yum. Yeah. I'll take a bite. Let me okay. Try. Oh, that crunch. <laughs> we are at the Spell store. I am so excited right now. I love their clothes so much. And they have a little store in Byron Bay. It's adorable. Are you kidding me? I want every single thing in here and also my house needs to be decorated like this. We are back at Folk Cafe because we just couldn't get enough. We are sitting at the cutest little spot I'm going to show you guys right now. Packers killing my vibe but you guys get the idea. Look how flippin' cute this entire cafe is though. Like, I don't understand how every cafe is just perfection. My outfit today is from Free People. I'm obsessed with this set. It's so comfy, it's like crocheted. You have to wear a swimsuit underneath it or else it would be very see-through, but I think it's so cute. We just got to the Pressed Pantry. I've seen lots of pictures here and it looks really, really yummy, so we're gonna check it out. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. This is really good. We are at the beach again. This is a different beach than we've been to. A ton of you guys recommended that we come here. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Um, it is so, so pretty and open. It is the most beautiful day. So sunny. Wanna move here, Leif? We are back at our Airbnb. I did not vlog this and I totally should have, but we went to Spell again. I vlogged it the first time. Um, and we went back and they showed us their new collection and we got to pick out a few things which is so nice of them It's going live on their site tomorrow. So it'll be up by the time you guys see this um, but I picked out this like prettiest kimono I think it is so pretty these colors are amazing and I'm just wearing it over my swimsuit because we're about to head to the beach for sunset So I picked out this little cute leopard set as well, which I'm so excited to wear. Oh, this is not part of it It's like one two three and four or five or something <laughs> I am so shook. That is the cutest face ever. Your eyes are so huge and cute. Whitest blonde hair ever. What the? Oh. Good morning, guys. It is our last day in Byron Bay. We are all so sad. This has been such a fun trip. We are at the cutest cafe right now called the Byron Bay General Store. Look at this adorable sunflower that we're sitting next to. We're sitting on this little bench. I'll show you guys like a far away shot later. But um, we just ordered and we are about to get our breakfast. 
and we're kind of trying to like jam a lot of things into today just because it is our last day but we're gonna be so sad to leave like I seriously would move here in two seconds. I think a lot of people say that because every time we talk to someone Australian and we're like, we want to move here, they're like, yeah, everyone says that. It's just the cutest little beach town ever. So we're going to be very sad to leave. Currently wearing this really cute swimsuit. Here's the bottoms, but I can't really show you because I'm wearing these linen pants, which by the way, I've also been wearing like every day of this trip because they're so comfy. That's my little outfit for today. I love this suit. I'll link it below. Food is here. I got avocado toast with some greens on top and a pitaya smoothie. We've got a burger and a chocolate peanut butter smoothie like usual. And Parker got avocado toast too. They got these really pretty juices. Look at that one, spirulina I think. And then Aspen got this beautiful waffle. Decided we needed some curly fries, or not curly fries, waffle fries. But they taste like Arby's curly fries. They're so good. Best fries we've had on the trip. Oh yeah. Oh, I meant chips. Yeah, chips. Best chips. We went back to our Airbnb and then got some popsicles at this really cute place that's near, right near our Airbnb. It's called the Top Shop. But anyway, I'm wearing the cutest somersault suit today and these shorts that I've been wearing like the entire trip. Obsessed with both of them, so I'll link everything for you guys. This is Wadigo's Beach. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It is so, so pretty. This is what it looks like. We have our umbrella. This is at our Airbnb and the boys made sure to bring it for us. So nice. Same. <laughs> I'm out of my picture! <laughs> We're having a heated discussion right now about childhood like classic movies. Leif and I were talking about like all our favorite Disney movies and like The Sandlot and Little Rascals and things that we grew up Leif watching. Parker and I. Oh, Leif Parker and I. And Aspen over here, her idea of the classic movies are like SpongeBob, SpongeBob Christmas, all those movies, Drake and Josh, Man Show. But you have to explain, I grew up with three younger siblings. Yeah. I don't have older siblings. Yet. I don't either though. Don't either, and I'm still cultured. Don't have, like, you don't have younger, I mean, JC has younger brothers, but they're like a big age. Yeah. Okay. I see where you're coming from, but I think we need to culture her. I told her if that's her style of movie, she should love Kangaroo Jack. She was trying to hate on me about Kangaroo Jack, but we're watching it later, finishing it up. Stay tuned. Boys just went for a run. How was it? It's awesome. Is that sweat or water? Both. Oh my goodness. Getting your fitness in? Yeah. Do you wish you could do that every day? Yeah, I was saying I wish I, I would do that like three times a week. Really? Here, yeah. It's awesome. Packer, where are you? Parker's face is like red as a tomato. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, wait, that's not okay. That's scary. My <laughs> face turns this red when I get when I do high activity. They used to call me tomato face in high school. Who in, called you that? In elementary school, when we'd run the mile, they call me tomato face. I didn't know That's that. That's so sad. You don't know to tell people. It's embarrassing. Meanwhile, Aspen and I have been editing pictures, getting inspo, screenshotted, and just having some girl talk. Lit. <laughs> Exposed. We are at the beach one last time before we leave Byron Bay. We're leaving at like 3 a.m. Aspen and I got matching outfits from Spell. This is their new collection. It is so pretty. We were able to pick out stuff from their new collection because we happened to be in Byron like right before they launched it and they were nice enough to let us pick out some stuff. So that is awesome. And I think I'm actually gonna, gonna get in the water right now because I haven't swam at all. I've been preserving the self tanner and Aspen and I have just been like chilling on the beach while the boys swim. But I think I wanna get in the water because I have to experience swimming in the ocean even though it's the, just the Pacific Ocean because <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. I just gotta experience it, you know what I mean? You ready? Let's do it. Back at our Airbnb again, and I am about to try and get a workout in. I'm trying to stay consistent here, even though I really do not want to because we have to get up at 3 a.m. Um, to go to the airport. I am packing right now. Here's the packing situation. Does anyone else feel like they don't understand how they got all their stuff in their suitcase on the way? to the trip because I do not understand how this is all going to fit. This is my carry-on, this is my checked bag, and everything's looking a little crazy right now. Leif is much more organized than me, as you can see, everything is rolled tightly and neatly, and all of my stuff is thrown in. So I'm going to end the vlog here because we are closing our time in Byron Bay. 
We're so sad. So much fun. It was so fun. Where's Packer? Packer. Yeah. He's packing. He's packing. He's packing. Because he's a packer. Packing. Join the fam. We always get sad leaving because we never know when we're gonna see each other again. I know. So we always try and like and plan we trips. Love, we love yeah. each other. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We do. <laughs> So we need to plan our next trip like tomorrow so that we know. Comment down below where should our next trip be. That is going to be it for this vlog. But stay tuned for some more fun ones. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Cheers.